is Kazim and I'm here with another fascinating podcast with a popular guest, the author of the book, Maybe For You. Many listeners have asked us to interview the author of, his, of this charming book, which has a humorous romance theme and many fans. That's why we invited Joya Moyos to participate in this program today. Since 2002, she has been an award-winning romance novelist, number one New York Times best-selling author and a screenwriter. Okay, welcome, Joya. Mm-hmm. Hi, Tanaz. Thanks for the invitation. Um, today we invited you to have a friendly, friendly conversation and ask you some questions that many of your fans are curious to know. Are you ready, Joya? Mm, yes, of course. Great. Okay, first of all, please tell us, where did you get the idea for this story? Mm, well, uh, the idea of this story originates from the life of a couple of my family members. Uh, of course, uh, I made some minor changes in the story to make it more interesting for the readers. But the main body of the story comes from their life. It uh, really impresses me, so I decided to create this different romance novel. Seeing me before you will allow you to release all the bad feelings you've been trying to suppress this appointment, heartbreak, unrequited love, frustration with uh, life. Wow, interesting. Readers want to know if the story of the book uh, is exactly the same as the script of the movie. Mm, well, uh, when I started to write the plot for the adoption of my novel, it sticks very closely to its uh, source materials. The majority of the alternations made during the transitions were insignificant, although this changing uh, may, may seem small, they had a predominant impact on the storyline and the overall message conveyed in the story. For example, uh, one of the obvious differences is that the story in the movie is from only Louisa's point of view, whereas the book switches points of view between a few different characters. Uh, in addition, in the book, William's frustrations and anger are more evident than in the movie, but try to make him likable, perhaps to speed off the romance, you know? Um, that's right. Um, which one was more welcome for people, movie or book? Um, I think, uh... Involving other characters' perspective in the book was able to show the wider impacts of Will's disability and the reason for his choice. Uh, so people could make more and better connections with the book. But it shouldn't ignore the importance of the uh, movie, its characters, and playing to absorb the viewer attention. You know, Tanaz? Okay. Um, has the feedback you received been positive until now? Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I can uh, confidently say yes. Of course, there have always been critics and people whose uh, uh, desires are um, different, you know. But uh, most of the comments were uh, positives. And most of them asked me to write another similar story with the romance theme. Totally, I can say everything was okay. No, um, really? Um, I agree with them. Uh, it would be great if you write a new version for your fans. Um, Jayo, as a final question, uh, which of the characters uh, was more uh, lovable uh, for you? And please explain why for us. Um, Louisa is a lovely character for me because she is a young, energetic and funny woman 
uh, but has low confidence. Uh, her life revolutionizes uh, when she decides to work for one family who has a paralyzed boy. Over time, she experienced uh, many events that learn her how to deal with Williams, who is a paralyzed, bad temper and bitter boy, and transforms him into a boy in love. I think anyone else in Williams' place would fall in love with Louisa, you know? Uh, on the other hand, it wasn't uh, expected that William's choice wasn't changed and it was a little annoying for readers. Uh, I also um, like William because he is intelligent, wealthy, but his impairment left him moody, angry and bitter. Uh, unable to ask that uh, he can... And no longer be the active and adventurous man he once was. He wants to die, you know? Um, that's right, I agree with you. Uh, thank you, Joya, to participate in our program. We hope to see you again very soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My pleasure, dear Tanas. Me too. Um, in the next podcast, we'll have another fascinating interview with a celebrity you you're sure to enjoy talking to be sure to check out next week's program thank you all of them thank you bye